Chapter 11. Now the leaders of the people settled in Jerusalem, and the rest of the people cast lots to bring one out of every ten to live in Jerusalem, the holy city, while the remaining nine were to stay in their own towns. The people commended all the men who volunteered to live in Jerusalem. These are the provincial leaders who settled in Jerusalem. Now some Israelites, priests, Levites, temple servants, and descendants of Solomon's servants lived in the towns of Judah, each on his own property in the various towns, while other people from both Judah and Benjamin lived in Jerusalem. From the descendants of Judah, Athaiah, son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalalel, a descendant of Perez, and Maaseah, son of Barak, the son of Kolhoza, the son of Hosea, the son of Adaiah, the son of Joyarim, the son of Zechariah, a descendant of Shelah. The descendants of Perez, who lived in Jerusalem, totaled 468 able men. From the descendants of Benjamin, Salu, son of Meshulam, the son of Joed, the son of Pedeah, the son of Koleah, the son of Maaseah, the son of Ithiel, the son of Jesheia, and his followers, Gabai and Salai, 928 men. Joel, son of Zikri, was their chief officer, and Judah, son of Hasanua, was over the second district of the city. From the priests, Judea, the son of Joerim, Jachin, Sereah, son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Mareoth, the son of Ahitub, supervisor in the house of God, and their associates who carried on work for the temple, 822 men. Adea, son of Jeroham, the son of Pelaliah, the son of Amzai, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pashur, the son of Malchijah, and his associates, who were heads of families, 242 men. Amashsai, son of Azarel, the son of Azai, the son of Meshilamoth, the son of Immer, and his associates, who were able men, 128. Their chief officer was Zabdiel, son of Hagadolam. From the Levites, Shemaiah, son of Hashab, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Bonai, Shabbathai, and Josabad, two of the heads of the Levites, who had charge of the outside work of the house of God. Mataniah, son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, the director who led in thanksgiving and prayer. Bakbakiah, second among his associates, and Abda, son of Shemua, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun. The Levites in the holy city totaled 284. The gatekeepers, Akab, Talman, and their associates who kept watch at the gates, 172 men. The rest of the Israelites with the priests and Levites were in all the towns of Judah, each on his ancestral property. The temple servants lived on the hill of Ophel, and Ziha and Gishpa were in charge of them. The chief officer of the Levites in Jerusalem was Uzai, son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micah. Uzai was one of Asaph's descendants, who were the singers responsible for the service of the house of God. The singers were under the king's orders, which regulated their daily activity. Pethahiah, son of Meshezabel, one of the descendants of Zerah, son of Judah, was the king's agent in all affairs relating to the people. As for the villages with their fields, some of the people of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba and its surrounding settlements, in Dibon and its settlements, in Jacabzeel and its villages, in Jeshua, in Molada, in Beth Pilat, in Hazer Shul, in Beersheba, and its settlements, in Ziklag, in Makona, and its settlements, in Enrimen, in Zorah, in Jarmuth, Zenoa, Adullam, and their villages, in Lachish and its fields, and in Azekah and its settlements. So they were living all the way from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The descendants of the Benjamites from Geba lived in Michmash, Aja, Bethel, and its settlements, in Anathoth, Nob, and Ananiah, in Hazor, Ramah, and Gittim, in Hadid, Zeboam, and Nabalat, 
in Lod and Ono, and in the Valley of the Craftsmen. Some of the divisions of the Levites of Judah settled in Benjamin.